Hi everybody, it's Shauna, and I am sitting in my car per usual, right? It is about 5.50 a.m. on January 12th, and I am on my way to New York. I'm taking the bus up, and I'm going to New York because I actually have interviews lined up with some agencies up there. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. Uh, I've been up since I went to sleep around a little after one. I woke up at three something and then said, "Okay, let me get a couple more minutes of sleep." So I finally got up at like four ten. Got out the house about five ten, and made it on up here to the station. So I am. I had all the stuff packed in my bag. I have my. Uh, portfolio and some of the images are sticking out because I have to take them to FedEx when I get to New York and get them cut down to the right size but this is my first portfolio it's an 11 by 14 size and it's kind of I've been on the verge of vomiting on myself for like <laughs> the past few days uh, I was cool when I first found out that I got called in for an interview or whatever. And then, of course, right at the very last minute, I start overthinking and nerves started to set in. So, like, right now, I still feel kind of like I want to throw up. But I guess nervous is good because if I... Um, I think if I felt too confident, it wouldn't go over well. So, yeah. That's that. Um, I just, I'm excited. I'm nervous. I'm um, overwhelmed. I'm happy. I feel blessed. It's just a number of different emotions that I'm going through right now but I just wanted to bring you all along for the ride if you will and of course I can't take you in the interview but I probably I get there around 11 a.m. my interview was at noon and then I don't come back my uh, bus doesn't leave until mm, 7 tonight I don't get back tonight until like close to midnight so I'm gonna bump around New York a little bit see what I can get into um it's supposed to rain all day to me today in New York hopefully my weather app got it wrong and miraculously the sun comes out because it's supposed to be partly sunny here in DC so we shall see um but that's about it I will check in throughout the day or not I might not check in throughout the day this might be the only video that you see um but yeah there's a train coming if you can hear that in the background I gotta go get in line because you're supposed to be here 15 minutes before the bus pulls off it is now 6 a.m and we pull off at 6 15 so wish me luck and I'll see you guys when I see you bye hey everybody it's Shauna and you just saw my video that I made yesterday morning around 6 a.m. It is now the next day, Friday, January 13th. Ooh, it's Friday 13th. <laughs> and I'm back in Maryland from my excursion to New York. And it went really well. If you are friends with me on Facebook or on Twitter I don't think I posted it on Twitter I didn't I just people like friends and family on Facebook know that I I made it to New York safely I went to my interview at the agency and it went really well my original plan of action was to go to New York go to the interview and then kind of, I've been in contact with a number of agencies as far as sending my 
images and in my resume <clears throat> hoping to get some kind of feedback you know because my my goal is to well I won't get into all that but anyway ultimately I'm trying to get agency representation this year <clears throat> sooner rather than later and so the ones that I had reached out to initially I was going to see if I could just stop in, have them look at my book and give me some pointers on what I need to do or add to my book in order to get representation. And so, but money was funny and uh, what little bit of money I did have, I used to get to print out some more images to put in my book. I initially only put five in there. The first time I went to get some images printed, and then when I got to New York, I had a little bit of time before my interview, so I went ahead and put some more in there. So I had a total of, I think, 15 images in my book when I went. And um, when you're trying to get on the assistance list or whatever, you don't really need that many images. So that's what I figured if I didn't get signed, then if I could at least get on the assistance list, then that was um, pretty big for me. Uh, lessons learned. If you've been to New York, you know that it it's pretty awesome. So, lessons learned. And I've done this before. I went to school in New York, so there were plenty of times when I didn't have any money. But lessons learned. Don't go to New York without any money because you're going to be like, I wanted to get some supplies. I wanted to go to all the makeup places and because I have discounts on a number of them. So I wanted to pick up some stuff for my kid, especially lashes, because you can get them on the cheap in New York at this wholesale place, but I didn't have any money for all that. I didn't even really have any money to eat, like let's be real. <clears throat> I went up there with the sole purpose of going to this interview and at the very least getting feedback about my book and what I needed to add or change or remove. And like I said, it went really well. I'm happy to say that um, I didn't bring my portfolio with me or else I would have shown you all. I got my little vouchers, which means that it's kind of like a timesheet. If anybody has ever tempt before, that's the only thing I can think of right now. When you like sign on with a temp agency, they give you a folder of stuff. And one of the things they give you is little timesheets. They have the carbon copy you know, the person signs it and then you turn it in to the um, temp agency so you can get paid. So ultimately that's what I got. The agency, you know, I signed the paperwork. Um, I was notified about how much the percentage that they take from the gigs that you get signed for, the jobs that they send you on. And I got a stack of vouchers. So, um, uh, yeah, I also met with a photographer who is like, he's the official photographer for Miss USA and those things. He also, um, what else? He just shot Jill Zarin from New York, New York Housewives and on Bravo, if you watch that, he was just showing me some of the things that he's done and he gave me some really good pointers and he actually said some of the things that I already knew that I wanted to add to my portfolio I wanted to work on um, in my work so it went really well I felt comfortable I was initially nervous like I said in the video I wanted to throw up a number of times <laughs> it, it did not change when I was at Staples getting uh, the last bit of my images printed I could not I was pacing, I like had to keep taking deep breaths. It was just a very, I guess a humbling experience. Like you can't go up there with a big head. Confidence is one thing, but people, when you take your book, first of all, I had never seen, I've been doing this for four years now. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have never seen my images blown up to 11 by 14. And that made me want to throw up. Everything made me want to throw up. It was very, very, like a scary thing. So, uh, I don't know. I, I still kind of feel like, did that really happen? You know? 
But it did, and I guess I'm with an agency now, at least one. And I don't. It's not an exclusive agency, so I can, you know, still take work from other places, and I plan on it. And that was just the first step. The work doesn't stop here. So that's it. I just wanted to give you guys an update on how it went, and yeah, I'm a, an agency rep makeup artist now. So in New York of all places. So <laughs> that's that. I just want to do a quick vlog. Um, I'm sure there's other things we need to talk about, but I'm at the bank waiting to cash a check. So, and they're getting ready to open. I don't want to be talking when they come finally open, which should be right now. So I'll check back in at some point this weekend. All right. See you guys soon. Bye.